All right, some time ago, I pulled out this Allen Heath GL2400, and I turned it on and uh, noticed immediately there was an issue with one of the channels. So if we turn this on, now as you can tell, our channel LEDs are all lit up. So let's figure out what's going on with that. Perfect. All right, so the issue that we were having was with the uh, channel 12, and that looks good. my uh, colleagues in the industry have indicated that um, it could be a ribbon cable issue, which um, I don't know how well this comes out on the video, but this gray thing here is a uh, ribbon cable. Everything, everything's connected. And they just said, basically, just try reseeding that ribbon cable. So we are going to do that. All right, and that's just sort of helped me remember. Trying to use the least intrusive tools. All right. All right, I'm going to uh, flip the console up on its side and let's power it on and see if that fixed anything. Well, damn, that did not work. Let's take a look at the uh, other ribbon cables. And I need to get these clips back on here. I'll get these on and uh, in the back here, uh, there are some other ribbon cables. So let's try reseeding those. All right, with the power supply out of the way. All right, well, the retainer clips are back in. Let's um, see if we can power this thing up. And we're just gonna tilt the console up to make sure that was it. Nope. Still not it. All right, something that may be of uh, interest 
is uh, a lot of consoles have these uh, rubberized, uh, like a wrist rest on them. And as you can tell, the rubber is starting to decompose. And that just has to do mostly with age. It's just deteriorating. And what happens here I'm gonna, is as I remove this tape, it's starting to pull up some of that uh, rubber. So, all right. And the rubber gets very sticky and it will stick to everything and it gets all over your hands. So like right here, as I've been moving the console around, this is what's happening. So let's see if we can um, get rid of, let's see if we get rid of some of that. All right, we are using uh, some rubbing alcohol on here to try to clean up some of this stuff. You can tell, this gets, uh, it's really, it's pretty bad. So I think the whole idea here is, uh, I'm going to work on part of the console here at a time. The whole idea here is to remove that first layer of uh, rubber that's decomposing to get down to the, uh, to get down to a good layer. And as you can tell, See, I haven't touched it yet, but it is uh, good and shiny there. This, the alcohol I'm using is the, uh, I think it's a 70%, just like basic rubbing alcohol, really. Ah, beautiful. Obviously, you can tell there's a big difference between that and that. So... Oh yeah, no tackiness or anything. Oh, this is great. All right, let's finish on here with the rest of it. Actually, here's a better shot at it. You can just tell how clean and clear that is over here to the mess. All right, well, the way that that has cleaned up, I would suspect that there was a very thin layer of rubber on here to make it feel comfortable because what's below it here, you can hear that is, uh, is plastic, but I'd almost rather have it like this. I think that's about it. Uh, boy, that is shiny and it does feel a heck of a lot better. All right, after some further discussion with uh, colleagues here in the industry, I think what I'm going to do is leave this unplugged because this is providing uh, the power for the affected channel. But every time we turn the console on, if you notice the light turns on, it becomes uh, an issue. So I think what we're gonna do is just disconnect this one. And uh, so anytime when the, when the board is on, the lights won't light up. Of course, the, the channel will be completely dead, which is fine with us. And then we'll just mark it as a dead channel. All right, this console's been really good. And uh, we've used it for, um, so we've had this for about 10 years, and I believe, I believe we are the uh, third owners of it. It's been a great uh, production board, but uh, so we used it mostly as a uh, backup for our uh, Soundcraft GV8. All right, if you ever, 
end up having to do something like this with a console, uh, make sure, let me take this one off here, make sure that you've got something like this, uh, like a padding to put it on. I would not put this console face down on a hard surface. It would probably push in some of the knobs that may cause other damage. Anyway, everything was sitting on this, uh, it's almost like a shock foam. But it was taking all the weight from everything. So, the knobs, everything looks good. All right, and to keep it looking somewhat professional, I guess as much as we can having a dead channel on a console, I'm going to put a label down here that says it is disconnected. Let's move that out of the way. Just a little bit here. All right, that looks good. Easily identifiable. All right, we've got the console turned on. And uh, as you tell, no issues. And then a uh, PFL across it. Nothing works. So anyway, this is Obviously something we will uh, disclose to uh, anybody that we uh, want to sell it to or anybody that's uh, probably at some point that's going to be interested in buying it. Anyway, sort of a, maybe a sad turn of events for it. Uh, very rarely do we ever have a channel that's down. All right, well, thanks for watching.